I'm just taking off from the doctor here. Came on by to get myself checked out because I haven't been feeling super well lately. And I want to get everything straightened away before I take off for my trip next week, or this week actually, in two days. Uh, which is the real topic of this video. I wanted to let you guys know what I'm up to. I'm about to leave for a big old trip to Colorado, going on a road trip, taking my bike out. It's just going to be me and the bike for about six days with two days of hanging out in Colorado in the middle. So the plan is to leave the greater Los Angeles area, probably from my girl's house, nor my girlfriend's house in Orange County on Wednesday. And I'll be going through Phoenix and Albuquerque and I'll end up in Colorado, my cousin's place hang out there for a couple of days for the weekend basically and then come back home through Salt Lake City and uh, Vegas so I've already got my hotel reservation squared away I kind of wanted to do some uh, moto camping but uh, it's pretty late in the year to get campground reservations and I don't want to rely on last minute uh, first come first serve reservations or first come first serve sites so going to be staying in hotels but I found really cheap ones so hopefully they're not too junky they all had fairly decent reviews actually uh, so we'll see how that goes I expect it to go well but we'll see should be fun unfortunately I planned it for what seems like it's going to end up being right in the middle of a heat wave in the desert so I'm going to be going through like Phoenix and Phoenix and Albuquerque right in uh, 100 degree weather and then back home through Salt Lake City and Vegas in 100 degree weather. 100 degrees plus. So that's going to suck, but other than that it should be fine. Uh, I have a plan for dealing with the heat, which I will talk about when the time comes. I do plan to record the trip, not going to overdo it like I sort of did with the Cali Coast trip in years past, but I do want to record it and share it. Uh, while I'm at it here, I kind of want to make this into a small life update. Uh, the biggest news in my life being probably that um, uh, you might remember a, f a few weeks ago I posted a video riding with my dad, uh, mostly me whining about not being able to find a job because I'd been looking for a job for over two months and hadn't even gotten an interview. Well, since then I actually managed to get two job offers, so I was able to pick between them, and uh, obviously I picked the better one. Neither of them is a company you've probably ever heard of or have much interest in. It's nothing super exciting, but it is a job. And the company I picked uh, does a fantastic job taking care of their employees with good pay, a well-defined structure for promotions and evaluations, uh, great benefits. Uh, so, and, and actually the most important thing is that they strongly emphasize work-life balance. They don't, the, you know, they, the management takes uh, extra effort and extra care not to burn their employees out and that's really important to me because the the place that I turned down the place whose offer I rejected uh, it, during the interview process they straight up told me you know uh, you should expect to be working nights and weekends you know maybe not every weekend but expect to be in here on the weekend and that's just like that's not the way I want to live my life I, I work to live. I don't live to work. I'm sure you've heard that expression before. The reason that I work is so that I can have a life outside of work. I'm not breathing just, you know, for the opportunity to be able to slave away at a desk for some dickheads who don't care to let you have a life outside of work. So that was how I felt about that one company. They were like, you should be privileged to work here. You should enjoy your overtime. I'm like, that's just not going to happen. That's not me. You're looking for a different kind of engineer. So anyway, I'll be starting that job pretty soon. Uh, I'm probably gonna be moving. I'm already pseudo moved in with my girlfriend. I'm like sort of moved in. Like all my stuff isn't there, but I basically spend all my time there. Most of my important stuff is at her house and we're trying to figure out the details of that. So uh, yeah, basically I moved in with my girlfriend, uh, got a job lined up, although it's not starting for a, t a few weeks, which is why I'm 
taken this opportunity to go ahead and take this road trip to Colorado. But yeah, things are going a lot better than they used to were. So uh, it's good. And I just wanted to let you guys know that because I haven't been posting too much recently. Uh, part of the reason being that one of the items I haven't been able to bring to my girlfriend's house yet is my uh, the computer I do my editing on. Now I'm stuck. Thank you! No thanks to you though. Both of these dickheads have their eyes buried in their phones. So anyways, keep your eyes peeled for the Colorado series. I expect to have some spare time. I want to use some of it to explore the towns I'm passing through, but you know, I expect to have some downtime and I'm going to want to rest in the hotel a bit. So being able to work on the videos would be a nice way to pass the time. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for keeping up. Don't forget to uh, follow me on the social medias if you like to interact in real time. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.